Hello my viewers. Uh, right now I want to show you some things about thermostat wire. Here's a five conductor uh, set of uh, thermostat wire. You have the red, white, uh, green, blue, and yellow. Uh, now usually this is only going to be used like if you have a, a straight cool air conditioning system or maybe uh, just a furnace without any kind of air conditioning at all. Now here we have seven conductor uh, set of thermostat wires. Uh, by the way, it's 18 gauge. And the ones I'm showing you are all are 18 gauge. Okay. Uh, here we have, of course, the red, white, green, um, orange, yellow, blue, and a brown. Usually a 7 conductor 18 gauge is used in uh, uh, heat pumps because uh, the orange and brown can be used with um, uh, for the uh, heat pump, uh, the, the reversing valve. So you see the, the brown would be like if you have a heat active uh, reversing valve and the orange would be if you have a cooling active reversing valve. This thermostat wire is something you don't really see much of. It's 10 conductor, 18 gauge. Okay, uh, this could be used in uh, uh, different types of uh, applications, like where you have a heat pump plus a gas furnace, and maybe you have an energy wheel. Okay, that's usually what this pink is for. Um, things like that. Okay, so yeah, if you you don't you're not really going to see 10 conductor out there very much, but you just might. I mean, you usually even have to special order this stuff anyway. <clears throat> now let me show you something here that I actually dug out of a out of a wall. Okay, now you see this? This is a splice, and this is a splice that was made in actually 10 conductor wire. Uh, now I haven't taken it apart yet to see where the problem is, but there's a problem in here uh, because well I wound up having to replace the thermostat wire, but I had no idea that this splice was buried in the wall until I actually uh, pulled it out of the wall. So let's see, I'm going to pull the tape off now. Okay, here it is. I pulled the tape off, and you can see what they did was is they uh, just wire nutted uh, the uh, conductors that they thought they were going to use and well uh, they only connected five out of the ten that they had. <laughs> Not a wise idea. Obviously they thought that nobody would ever need any more than five conductor to make that air conditioner work even though it was a heat pump. Um, so I mean and I was having problems with it because I needed to uh, put a Honeywell 8000 thermostat uh, in there and of course I mean it would run okay uh, on the batteries and that but with no common wire it's just you know you don't want to have to depend on those batteries that much but uh, still the uh, I mean to think that you're going to make a heat pump run on five wires all the time, okay? Uh, that's just insane because you know you have your emergency heat and everything else to hook up. I mean, anyway, it wasn't working properly, so so I had to replace the thermostat wire. Um, also, you right. I was telling you that this was buried in a wall. Uh, this is a good lesson that uh, burying any kind of splices is a bad idea. The splices, if you have to make a splice, now I don't recommend it at all. I mean, I realize that you, you know, a tech has got to do what a tech has got to do out there, okay? But if you have to make a splice, if you can't just run all new thermostat wire, uh, make the splices accessible. Like put it in like a, um, a junction box or something. I mean, 
it's crazy to just run it up and down the wall. And another thing I want to show you uh, about thermostat wire is the proper way to strip it back and so that you can uh, attach it to your thermostat or, or uh, a you know control board or something like that. First thing you do is take your say wire strippers, okay? And what you want to do is you want to uh, just kind of strip back about just a few inches of the outer insulation of the uh, thermostat wire. Okay. Now, by the way, you may be thinking, well, I know how to strip wire. I mean, what dummy don't? Well, believe it or not, but not everybody knows how to strip thermostat wire. Now, this, by the way, is true with, in particular, uh, new modern thermostat wire. Score the outer insulation like that, okay? And you can pull away the um, insulation then. Um, sometimes it can be a little tough. You know, what can I say? Come on. Here we go. And here you go. Alright, now let me show you something about this wire. Do you see this string? Okay? Usually uh, you'll just, you know, kind of wonder what is this string all about? Well, uh, to t you see the wire manufacturers don't put the string in here just to piss you off or or to make you wonder what the heck it's all about or or just because they're trying to make some extra money. Well, what this is all about is to help you, the tech, to properly uh, strip your wire. Now, first let me show you something though. Now, if you look right here uh, around where I stripped the outer insulation, you'll see where I scored the insulation around each of the conductors. You see? You can sort of tell that, right? So, what this allows you to do, it allows you to, the string, what this string allows you to do is to pull down on it, okay? And see that, what it, it's doing? It's stripping some of the outer insulation further for you. So then you can pull back the wire, the uh, insulation, okay? And now you'll have a clean, okay, see right around here, it'll be nice and clean and you won't have any scoring of the insulation or anything. So now what you can do, you see where uh, the uh, this wire has been uh, chafed and scored right there from my uh, wire strippers. Well, now what I can do is I can take my wire strippers and I can cut this uh, like this and there you go. Nice clean thermostat wire. Uh, and now I can clean this up simply by cutting the uh, slack away of this uh, insulation and there we go you see now also uh, each conductor will need to at least each conductor that will be used will need to be uh, stripped about a quarter of an inch and that's all you really need with say like digital thermostats anyway where you're just plugging in the wire where you're just plugging the wire into a, a like a a slot and then you take a little screwdriver and you screw it down uh, this is about all, all you need is about to strip this about a, maybe a quarter of an inch uh, also let me show you something else here uh, let's say you're not going to be using uh, certain conductors like well, just for instance let's say you're not going to be using the orange and the brown for some reason instead of cutting them okay what you can do is 
you can just wrap these two okay around like what I'm doing right here now just wrap them around the uh, outer insulation just kind of back wrap them like that and this way if you ever uh, have a bad conductor um, then you can simply replace it but with one of these two a little trick of the trade I realize sometimes uh, that is with the older style wire you won't have that string that'll help you to uh, strip the thermostat wire properly but um, uh, if, if that's the case so you just have to be careful not to score the insulation around the individual conductors